You guys know Beanie Man Tim Pool. So, uh, Beanie Man Tim Pool says that he's a lefty, but all of his content is going after left-wingers, of course. I have dared him to do this, and I, I, I will repeat it again. I dare Tim Pool to make a video expressing all of the progressive positions that he upholds. That is what I would love to see. I'd like to see a video of him breaking down, you know, whatever progressive positions he supports. I'd love to see it. I know that he got, like, he almost had more thumbs down than thumbs up on the video he made in which he said he donated to Tulsi and to Yang. So, I think that already tells you what you what you need to know. But Tim Tool always says, No, guys, I'm a very outspoken critic of Donald Trump. Uh, it's weird because we never see it. It's a flat-out lie, that's why. So, Trump sent out his racist-ass tweet telling the, uh, you know, four congresswomen to go back to, to go back to where they came from. Of course, three out of four of them were, were born in the United States. AOC, funny enough, I believe she was born in Queens, which is where Trump is uh, from. And then Ilhan Omar was someone who immigrated here. Uh, and it, it was just, it was racist as fuck, keeping it point blank. And it looks like, uh, looks like uh, Pim Tool here agrees. So he responded to this saying, Possibly Trump's stupidest tweet and a good example of why I'd never vote for him. Not only is it completely absurd to tell Americans to leave America, it literally does nothing to heal the ever-increasing divide. On the contrary, he just made it substantially worse. Even in the context of Ilhan Omar, telling her to go back to her home country is not an argument against her progressive ideas. And in fact, this line of thinking only hurts your argument. So he is... Uh, He's expressing his anti-Trump uh, position on this issue. And, you know, this should be pretty commonplace for his fans, right? Because he's a very vocal, consistent, continuous, outspoken critique of Trump. So surely everyone took it by saying, you know what, Tim? I disagree with you here, but you're a good guy. You're a lefty who knows what you're talking about. Yeah, that didn't happen. As you can see here... If you don't know Twitter lingo, basically, if you if you get more replies than likes, that's a serious thing. And when you get into those higher number of likes, like, so, you know, if there's a ratio of, like, 100 responses to, like, 12 likes, that's a ratio. But to get 4.1 thousand replies on a 5.8k favorite tweet is insane. It means so many people were angry at him. 4.1 thousand responses to this single tweet. Now, I'll read you some of his own fans turning on him here. This is, uh, you know, one of those trolls, I don't know, it's someone who's basically trying to be like the black Trump supporter, you know, play that token card, be the female version of Uncle Tom, of course. She's also very dumb. She had sent out a tweet uh, about something about Hamas, but she spelled it hummus, like, you know, the food. Uh, that, like, you dip pita chips in. Uh, so she's really stupid, okay? And again, she's just trying to be a token. That's what her job is. That's how she makes her paycheck. That's what she does. Like Stacey Dash and Candace Owens and all these other, you know, tokens out there. So she said, Trump is obviously referring to Ohana Mar, who's rescued by America from the worst country on the planet, but has a nerve to be hatred of America on a daily basis and scream about how horrible America is. He right to call her out. We are in a culture war against anti-Americanism. America is at war against very dark powers that are trying to strip this country's founding principles, its history, its culture, even its flag and symbols. They are tearing down historical statues. These are not normal times. Trump is the, quote, wartime president America need. So, I mean, you know, just seemingly, you know, weird random capitalizations as well as just, you know, just a lack of, like, basic grammar, which is very odd. Uh, you know, Trump is the wartime president. You know, I don't know why that's capitalized. And then obviously, you know, need. I don't understand why it's not needs. But this person is very stupid. Uh, but, you know, these people are just, these people are just going out there, going really, getting really pissed off. Um, and there were, there were a couple of more, uh, there were a couple of more ones that I wanted to show you. This one says, it's actually a great tweet. Nice try on your swing and miss, though. So tweets like this, man, tweets like this are what really, what really is insane. Because what Donald Trump said was like straight out, flat out racist. Um, and the fact that there are people, so many people at that, 
who are defending his tweet not only really show that they're racist and that Donald Trump is racist, but that there's a fuck ton of people in the United States who are racist as fuck. As fuck! Okay? Um, and that that simply is just a fact in the United States, which is really fucking sad. Uh, you know, it, it's just insane to me. It's absolutely insane to me. You know, this one says, on the contrary, he just gained a vote for 2020. Yeah, he just gained a vote for 2020 for telling someone who has opinions on how to, in their mind, benefit the country uh, by making change that they want to make by telling her to go back to her home country, to leave the country. What happened to free speech? I'm very confused. What happened to freedom of expression, free, free thought, free speech? You know, what happened to all of that stuff, you know? You probably want to take the flag out of your asshole, take it out, put it away, because you're probably it's probably been there for quite a long time, and uh, you probably want to try to think for at least one fucking second. Okay, these people are incredibly overly sentimental about totally, you know, just meaningless things like you know the flag and shit like that, and this idea of anti-Americanism, like, bruh. Someone wanting to make change in the country by improving the country or having different values and positions than you does not make someone anti-American. So I, that's that's the core problem here. These are supposed to be the people who are saying that there's no free speech. The people who are now telling people who have opposing viewpoints to literally leave the country to go back from the countries they came from. These are the free speech warriors. And this, you know, this is, I mean, look, it says it's actually one of his best, you know what I'm saying? Hi, yeah, man. It's just, I don't see a problem. Like, these are, I gotta disagree, considering Ilhan is running around other countries shitting on us and touting how much better they are may just be the point. Why did she come here in the first place? How racist can the country be? She's a con congresswoman. Okay, a congresswoman, folks. For goodness sake. So, by the way, just so you know, uh, just yesterday there was a chant that broke out uh, where at a Trump rally where they, they chanted, send her back, in reference to Ilhan Omar and sending her back. So, America's clearly not racist. Not at all. Not whatsoever. You know that for sure. She's a congresswoman, right? <laughs> you fucking dumbass. Uh, these people are idiots, man. These people are idiots. They're racist as fuck. Um... And again, I just want to stress, it's really remarkable to me that the people who are supposed to be the free speechers are telling people to leave the country because they disagree with them. It's pretty insane to me. It's pretty insane to me, honestly. I really have to say. Uh, I, I really have to say it's insane. But let me know your thoughts on this down below.